Let's get started. Number 10, the dark line on your nail. You might not think much of a small line on your nail, maybe you assume it's from bumping into something or a vitamin deficiency. But imagine this a single dark streak running vertically across your nail. That never fades. Dermatologists have a chilling term for this, melanonychia, and sometimes it's not just a line. That streak could be the first visible clue of subungual melanoma, a rare but deadly form of skin cancer that hides beneath the nail. It often begins as a thin brown or black line that slowly widens. Many people ignore it because it doesn't hurt, it doesn't itch, it just exists. Until one day the nail thickens, splits, or bleeds. The tragic part. This condition can go unnoticed for years, especially in people with darker skin tones where pigment variations are common. Bob Marley, for example, noticed a dark spot under his toenail and thought it was a soccer injury. It turned out to be melanoma and it ultimately took his life. The takeaway? If you notice a single dark streak that seems to spread especially on one nail, don't brush it off. The body whispers before it screams. Number nine, the sweet smell of death. You wake up one morning and notice something strange. Your breath smells sweet, like fruit. You brush floss gargle, but the scent lingers. Some people even describe it as nail polish remover. That innocent sweetness could actually signal diabetic ketoacidosis, a life-threatening condition where your body can't process glucose properly and starts burning fat for fuel. The result, a flood of acidic ketones in your blood and acetone vapor in your breath. Doctors say it's one of those silent alarms your body gives before things get catastrophic. Left untreated, it can lead to coma or death. The body literally changes its chemistry and you can smell it happening. If someone's breath smells oddly fruity and they're breathing fast or seem disoriented, that's not gum, that's your body begging for insulin. Number eight, the butterfly on your face. Ever looked in the mirror and noticed a faint rash spreading across your cheeks and nose like a butterfly's wings? Maybe it flares after sun exposure or stress. This isn't just an allergic reaction. It could be the hallmark of lupus and autoimmune disease where your immune system attacks your own tissues. The butterfly rash or malar rash is so distinct that doctors often identify lupus from this symptom alone. Patients often mistake it for acne or irritation, but its shape is symmetrical, crossing both cheeks and the bridge of the nose, sparing the folds near the nostrils. Over time, this rash comes with joint pain fatigue and hair loss, as if your body is at war with itself. Lupus is known as the great imitator because it can mimic dozens of other illnesses before showing its face quite literally. The butterfly pattern isn't poetic, it's diagnostic. Number seven, the white rings in your eyes. Stand close to a mirror, look carefully at the edges of your iris, that colored part of your eye. Do you notice a faint white or gray ring forming around it? Most people shrug it off as just aging, but sometimes it's a red flag. Your body is screaming to be heard. This ring known as corneal arcus is caused by cholesterol deposits building up in the cornea. When it appears in younger people under 45, it can indicate familial hypercholesterolemia, a genetic condition that causes dangerously high cholesterol levels from birth. Imagine your eyes quietly warning you that your arteries might already be clogging. The scary part. You may look perfectly healthy on the outside, slim, active even athletic, while inside your arteries are hardening like old pipes. Cardiologists often say, if the eyes are a window to the soul, they're also a window to your arteries. That faint white halo might be the first visible sign of a heart attack waiting to happen. Number six, clubbed fingers, the silent signal. You've probably seen someone with fingertips that look swollen or rounded almost bulbous like tiny drumsticks. It's a strange, almost alien look that most people never question. This phenomenon is called digital clubbing and it's far more sinister than it looks. It's often a warning sign of chronic low oxygen, which can happen due to lung cancer, heart disease, or severe infections like tuberculosis. And doctors don't fully understand why it happens, but one theory suggests that low oxygen triggers the release of growth factors that cause tissue at the fingertips to expand. Essentially, your body is trying to compensate creating more blood vessels to grab every bit of oxygen it can. If your fingers are rounding out, it's not a quirk, it's a clue. Historically, physicians used to call this the Hippocratic finger because even Hippocrates noticed it in ancient Greece and he associated it with lung disease long before we had x-rays. Your fingers might be writing the story. Your lungs are too tired to tell. Number five, the yellow tint that speaks of poison. Ever notice someone's eyes or skin turning yellowish? Not tan, not pale, but yellow. That eerie glow is not from bad lighting. It's jaundice, and it means your body is drowning in its own toxins. When the liver fails to filter out bilirubin, a yellow pigment formed from the breakdown of red blood cells, it starts to leak into your bloodstream and it shows through your skin and eyes. Jaundice is not a disease by itself. It's a warning, a signal that your liver might be in trouble from hepatitis cirrhosis or even pancreatic cancer blocking bile ducts. Sometimes newborns get it temporarily, but in adults, it's almost always serious. Here's the terrifying part. Most people ignore the early signs because it doesn't hurt. But by the time your skin starts glowing yellow, the damage is already advanced. If your reflection starts to look like it's been through a sepia filter, that's your liver sending an emergency broadcast. Number four, the dark patch on your neck that won't wash off. 
you might think it's dirt a shadow, or maybe leftover tan lines. But if there's a dark velvety patch on your neck, armpits or knuckles that just won't scrub away your body is giving you a serious heads up. This condition is called acanthosis nigricans, and it's often one of the earliest signs of insulin resistance, the precursor to type 2 diabetes. The skin thickens and darkens because high insulin levels stimulate excess growth of skin cells and pigment. Many people first notice it while showering, rubbing their neck raw with a towel, trying to remove what they think is dirt. But it's not grime, it's chemistry. Your skin is reacting to internal chaos. Doctors call it a warning you can wear. It can appear months or even years before diabetes is diagnosed. Sometimes it can also point to hormonal disorders, or in rare cases, internal tumors. So if you notice a dark patch that won't fade, don't reach for soap. Reach for a blood test. Your skin often tells your story before your pancreas does. Number three, the trembling hands. It starts subtly. You hold your coffee cup and notice a faint shake. You blame caffeine stress or lack of sleep, but sometimes trembling isn't psychological, it's neurological. Hand tremors can be one of the earliest signs of Parkinson's disease, a disorder that disrupts the brain's control of movement. It's not just shaking, it's a rhythmic resting tremor, often starting in one hand. The body is perfectly still, but the thumb and forefinger make that eerie pill-rolling motion, as if rubbing something invisible. The most chilling part, it often begins years before more obvious symptoms, like stiffness or slowness. By the time most people notice their brain's dopamine, producing cells have already been deteriorating quietly in the background. Of course, not every tremor means Parkinson's stress thyroid issues or even too much coffee can do it. But when your hands seem to have a mind of their own, your nervous system may be whispering before it starts to scream. Number two, the losing of eyebrows. It's subtle, but revealing the outer third of your eyebrows starts thinning or disappearing entirely. You may think it's overplucking aging or genetics, but in medicine, this is known as Hertog's sign, and it's strongly linked to hypothyroidism and underactive thyroid gland. The thyroid controls metabolism, body temperature, and even hair growth. When it slows down, everything does, including the renewal of eyebrow hair. Other signs might follow fatigue weight gain, feeling cold all the time, dry skin, and brain fog. But the eyebrows often tell the story first. It's as if your body's energy factory is dimming and the eyebrows are the first lights to go out. It's so distinctive that doctors once used it as a diagnostic clue before blood tests even existed. So if your eyebrows are slowly vanishing from the ends inward, it's not fashion. It's physiology. Number one. The tiny red dots that never fade. You glance in the mirror and notice tiny red dots scattered on your chest, arms, or shoulders. They're not pimples, not rashes, not bug bites, just perfectly round, bright red pinpoints that don't itch or hurt, so you ignore them. Those tiny marks are called cherry angiomas, and while they're usually harmless, they can sometimes act as red flags for deeper issues. These little blood vessel clusters form when capillaries near the skin's surface begin to multiply uncontrollably. Most are benign and caused by aging or genetics but in some cases they can be linked to liver dysfunction, hormonal imbalance, or even toxin buildup in the body. The liver is your body's ultimate filter. When it's overworked by alcohol, poor diet, or medications waste, and toxins can start seeping into your bloodstream. One side effect. The capillaries begin bursting through your skin as a silent SOS. The ancient Greeks believed red spots were drops of internal fire escaping the body. Today we know they're not mystical, but they are meaningful. If new ones suddenly appear in clusters or grow rapidly, your body could be waving a quiet red flag literally. Bonus, the tingling toes that speak of damage. You lie in bed and suddenly your toes start tingling like static electricity under your skin. You shake it off thinking it's bad circulation, but that pins and needles feeling could actually mean nerve damage, often caused by diabetes or vitamin B12 deficiency. Your peripheral nerves, the messengers connecting your brain to your body are delicate. When blood sugar levels spike or vitamin deficiencies persist, those nerves start to die one by one. The first signs, tingling burning or numbness in your feet and hands. It's called peripheral neuropathy, and it doesn't just make you uncomfortable. It can cause permanent loss of sensation, leading to injuries you can't even feel. Many people realize too late that their body had been whispering this message for years. When your nerves start to sing in static, it's not noise. It's a warning track playing on repeat. Listen to it. Final thought. Your body isn't just flesh and bone. It's an intricate communication system. Every mole tremor discoloration or patch tells a story, but we often scroll through our reflection the same way we scroll through our phones, fast distracted waiting for something dramatic before paying attention. The truth is, disease doesn't knock loudly at first. It sends post-it notes, a dark nail streak, a yellow eye, a shaking hand, and waits for you to notice. That's it for today. I'll be doing similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.